Lewis. Hands on the ground. Penalty to Italy and uh, Pez will no doubt have a go at the posts here. Thank you. Time off. Time off. We're going for a shot. I stay rough. Yeah, I call time off. Okay, mate. Hold on. Thank you. I wonder how many penalties uh, there have been in this game, and I wonder how many penalties the Romanians have given away. Okay, time on. I think if we counted up not only the number of penalties, but the number of, hand, number of handling errors and turnovers, it would probably be twice the number that you would usually expect or be hoping to have in, in any one game. Certainly a game between two international sides. Here's Romero Lopez then. Two points already. Position for him. Pez born in Argentina. But lands three points for Italy. And the lead is extended. 18 points to 12. But uh, importantly, Romania still a converted try in touch. Yes, just extends the lead that little bit. And really, Italy now just have to calm it down, just control the ball on this kickoff and, and get back down into the Romanian half. Pez passes 250 points for his country. Played for Rotherham, Leicester, Bath, and Perpignan. Now plays for Avon Bayonnais in France. But he's saying. Run! Run! Stay there! Get away, 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 Launched into someone with his shoulder and no arms. Thank you. Okay, it's over here. Yep. He's not trying to play the man, drive a man off the ball. He's clearly driving into him um, without his arms. Fine. Number four, yellow. Recommendation? I would think a penalty and a strong talk to him. Thank you very much. Just go mark the mark, please. Number four. Number four is the captain, Soren Sokol. This is report. No. He comes throwing in with no arms. Go very careful. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Bryce. Again, really, had the touch judge not, not seen it, I think, you know, no, he would have got away with it. A very fine line between strong, vigorous counter-rucking and actually going in and out, not using your arms. And really, in that ruck area, you don't see too many people coming in with their arms. You know, they, they use that upper body strength to try and bounce people out of the way. Yeah, they're supposed to bind, of course. Yeah. Number one, yellow, number one, number one, yellow. Yes, finds touch then. One. And replacement coming on for one, uh, Romania. One. She's a the pescue of uh, Agent, This is Todoras, holds his 33rd cap. Another World Cup veteran, played all four in the last World Cup in Australia. And coach uh, Daniel Santamans, uh, Frenchman, fourth French man to coach uh, Romania. Troncon, and he gets it to the big ball carrier of Osawai, Manda of Osawai, 247 pounds. CG and there. He's going to get a penalty here. There's a plate that's broken out, as you can see on the floor there. No surprise to see Tinku in the middle of it all. Four there, last tackle like the four here, number two from, from Yellows. That's the penalty going to go. Anything to add to that? Nothing, right. I want to on you. I want you. Most kind of many times I think it was infringed actually. It must be five. Six. Whistle's gone, it is actually check the man out. Okay. Don't know why. Go very careful. We've had one yellow card. Okay. It's not that sort of game. And you lead by example, please. Okay? Thank you very much. Penalty 50 metres in. 
I'm afraid, I'm afraid it is that sort of game, and it's been that sort of game really from the word go. And uh, by this stage, you'd have thought that, that spreaders would actually have been able to speak to Tenku and, uh, and knows his name. But a uh, great opportunity now for Pez to actually stretch the lead and get it beyond a converted try. And it's great to see Griffin there walking around, looking a bit shaken and obviously a very, very sore head and neck. But uh, you know, it's good that he's off that stretcher. So Pez with a penalty attempt. Tinku should have been warming the bench long ago. Yeah, good, good, good. good to see him up and about. Two scores away from Romania. <laughs> well, he strikes the ball much more crisply than Borda Lucia with greater accuracy, and that's an important three points for the Italians. Oh, look at Borda Master. <laughs> Just just pushing Gontiniak out of the way and then Tinku came back for a bit of retribution. Again, Bergamasco lucky to get away yeah. with it as well you because you know, he's he's going in there without the ball as well. But just looking at Paul Griffin, if he's uh, lost his memory as a result of that collision, he may well be the luckiest man in the stadium. Yeah. This is rugby's version of a tragic comedy. At the moment. Royce, 14 minutes remaining. The Italians look now as if they might cling on here for victory just watching Tony Spray's face there a few moments ago he just looked exasperated at what was happening all around him can Romania get a dry ball here Mampa is back on the pitch there's the line out count this is traditionally where Romania are strong and bullish and they get a penalty and it's uh, better now Bo I think he's going to be penalised there. Five, five was legal, totally legal. That man there wasn't. Have a look. You want to scrum? Board Lamy was you fine. Scrum here? Being oh. Vigorously collapsed. I think you see Bernabeu just up over him and rather than actually pulling it down, just forces them almost uh, to uh, scupper, scuppers their own ball because they trip over him on the ground. Cutting old boy, that one there. Uh, you see it a lot there. Just amazingly falling to the ground so the uh, opposition forwards simply have to fall over the hurdle a bit like a sleeping policeman carrying on we're carrying on carrying on good old Tinko he could go to some of the things he's been doing in this game how many of the matches have you got in Asbo? those tags on his leg. Well, maybe people are still in this game though. The gap may be nine points, but 12 minutes to go, they can certainly uh, resurrect themselves here and somehow fashion a victory. Well, he scored two tries, remember, in this half. He moffed. And that was uh, Tinku coming in there. The referee's going to bring them back. There all sorts of things going on there. There's no call. No There's no call. You knock on. In the, the speculative kick no, is brought about really because there's a lack of options outside no. in the Romanian well, backs and, and really if they can't go Time route one now. then there's not much else and uh, you know the, the Italian defence has been, has been decent around the fringes and they haven't got much interest out of that um, so really it's, it's much more been a case of Italy have okay. just soaked up the pressure given away a couple of loose tries and, uh, and done just enough uh, to stay, stay, keep ahead stay. relax injury. relax Tony Spreadby's just the man to be there, of course, as a paramedic. Fully qualified in this situation. 
and you can see the first thing that they always try and uh, make sure is, is steady is the neck and they'll always try and sort of isolate that before the airway, paramedics come airway, on we need some and then they get the support on it because of all the injuries it's, it's the neck that you worry about most. Let's see what happened to him here. I think hit in the middle with that. He was out, guys, okay, he was out. He was out, alright. I'm here to describe this saying that he was he was not unconscious by that hit. And it was from the uh, left wing of the Massey. You can, just, you, can actually just, you can almost feel that whiplash effect when you see the, uh, the, the head being jolted forward and then back again. And, you know, uh, obviously, it must have been a huge hit for I mean, Tinker's a massive, massive man uh, to have knocked him off his feet. Well, you heard uh, Tony Spreadway there saying he was out. I, I was assuming he meant he was knocked out, but uh, Marius Tinker seems to be all right. Obviously a fairly tough hombre, and uh, he's back up on his feet. Okay, time on please. So Martin, Penalty kick, Castro, deliberate knock on. You've gone for pose. There's your mark. Thank Tremendous you. uh, tight head forward. Another one of the Italians born in Argentina. Elaine. Thank you. Nice one. Yeah. No, yeah, two hours no oh, problem, but it wasn't. It was one hand and he knows it. Two hours is spot. Yeah. He's yeah, answered the Romania question. Romania to within six points. And then, of course, a converted try. Might just be enough to win the game for them. Well, it would be if uh, Italy didn't score again. So, crucial kick, straightforward kick. Demoff lands it. 21 points to 15. Game on. So, it should be an exciting final 10 minutes. Number two. He's just confirming that he's okay. And also, I just getting some direction from the touchline there. The, the Italians will have to stay focused in this last 10 minutes because the last thing they want after 70 minutes of scrappy play is to let the Romanians just snatch a victory here in the last 10. So they're going to have to keep their wits about them, play the rugby in the Romanian half and, and, and tighten it up and uh, you know, back to basics really. And just to remind you, Felipe Contepome will be live on Satan Sports sure you're all right. after this match, okay, talking to Dara and okay, uh, to Reggie and Emma. I'm just I'm worried about your safety, that's all. I can't hear, brothers. I think I'll go on. Just a sec. Is it, is it, yeah, yeah, sorry. Well, Tinku's being replaced now by uh, Marvadin. The concerns of the referee. Probably because of Spreadbury, you know, being a qualified paramedic, he, has, he saw that Tinku was momentarily knocked unconscious. Well, I think Spreadbury has done the right thing in terms of you know, concern for the player. If he thinks that he was knocked out, clearly there's, there's some form of concussion there, whether or not he's on his feet. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the right decision with 10 minutes to go. You don't want to risk any further damage to him. Say too much there. I think Tony Stradley said it all. And I'm surprised Stradley didn't march them back another 10 meters for uh, for the reaction to that uh, penalty reversed. Yeah, because descent is an automatic 10 meters. The RB have been telling the referees to clamp down on that. You see, he just went in with the head there, and certainly that reaction normally would get another. 10 meters and uh, make the kick that much easier. So another very important kick from Ramiro Pez has been totally successful since he took over the kicking duties from David Bortolusi.
this could seal the game for the Azuri. And he's got it.